Good morning, party people. Welcome back to uh, YouTube. We've got a special guest here today. We've got my lovely girlfriend. So, uh, I said on Instagram we'll do a Q&A, so Courts agreed to come on and answer your prying questions about us. Anything you want to start with? Nah. Alright, so I'm, I'll ask the questions. We haven't really gone through these. I'll ask quick... answer. I'll ask you some, because I think some of these are directed at you, and then we'll both answer the ones yeah. that are together. Yeah. Um, okay, who hogs the sheets? You. No, I yes. don't hog the sheets. What happens? You hog the sheets. No, my arms is and it drags off the bed. That's not me hogging it. If we work in the morning, but you're the you, one that's if pulling you, it. If you know the problem, then don't do it. I don't think you're the problem. If it's consistent, then you're hogging the sheets. I don't hog the sheets. Uh, do you guys train together? How does it work with couples to find common fitness grounds? I feel like we have the same common fitness grounds. Yeah. Yes, we do train together. Uh, not all the time um particularly in quarantine court's been doing a lot of like because she uses lighter weights you can get a pretty more complete workout with like the weights we have here than yeah. if we go to like the milestone facility we've built having said that we train together on the weekend so yes we do train together and finding common grounds we're both just like kind of trying to consistently be better mm -hmm. so it's actually quite easy to train together it says how do you handle cooking uh, but then there's also one next to her who's a better cook this guy. It's not even a. This guy can't cook. <laughs> yeah, it's not even a question. I'm useless in the kitchen. I know my skills, and being in the kitchen is not one of them. But luckily, Court is a very good cook, so uh, that's just like a whoever's better at does it. To Courtney, do you get as much attention from the opposite sex as Nathan? The opposite sex to me. What? Like the opposite sex to me? Oh, I don't know. Do you? Men. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. No. Do you, I get, mean, no. do you get as much attention from the females, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Probably yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but from men, I mean, I don't have a following on social media, so no. Like, I don't yeah, you don't really use social media all that much. Yeah. So. I don't have random people reaching out to me. No. No. Did you guys both get your nose piercings together? No. <laughs> no. We've. How long have you had yours? Oh, well, uh, ages. I don't you know. You have I don't know. When we first met, I had um, yeah, your small here stuff. done, and yeah, in here. I, I don't know how long I've had that, ages. And I've had mine here since I was 18, so. Well before we met. Um, does it bother you that you are shorter, taller than the other? Slash, I guess, that I'm taller than you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I think that's, I mean, I'm only 5'8", so I'm not the tallest guy, but Court's much shorter than me, and it, yeah. it works out quite well. And I wouldn't be able to wear heels if I was taller than you. I mean, you would, but... I mean, yeah, I would, but I would feel super uncomfortable. Yeah, whereas you can wear heels and still be short of that. Yeah. Yeah. How did we meet? Um, at my cousin's, your best friend's wedding. Yeah, at Lane and Molly's wedding. Uh, that, that's it. We just met at the <laughs> wedding and then hit off from there. We had our first date the very next day. Uh, is Courtney Maltese? Portelli's a Maltese surname. And if so, have you been to Malta? I am Maltese, um, but I haven't been to Malta yet, unfortunately. Yeah. That's on our to-do list. Yeah. Um, it's not really a couple's question, but favourite favorite Disney character. Tell the people. Tell the people your favourite Disney character. Aladdin. <laughs> Courtney doesn't like Disney. <laughs> Be honest, tell them. Where'd you pull Aladdin uh, from? I don't know. It's the I've first one you could think it. of. <laughs> um... I mean, I don't really like Disney. It's not that big of a deal. It's a, almost a deal breaker. Um, what is your significant other's... What do you appreciate most about me? What quality about me do you appreciate most? Um, do you want me to go first? Because I already have an answer. About me? Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate how open-minded you are. Mm. You're very tolerant and respectful of other people's opinions and you're more likely to play like devil's advocate, but not for the sake of playing devil's advocate. You're more open to be like, well, they might think this. So mm. that's what I mean. Like you kind of take people as they are now, not what they've done. Yeah. I, I think, think that's a good yeah. thing. There's no point in, um, especially when what they've done doesn't concern you. Yeah. But um, I, I really respect yeah. that. That's a, a very good quality. I don't know how I would explain this. Um, 
but you I feel like a lot of people that you are around feel really comfortable being them their true self and I think that you bring that quality out in everyone and especially me um, I don't know I think that people are just super comfortable around you and I think that comes from you being so confident in who you are and comfortable with who you are everyone else feels like it's okay to, to be themselves mm. and I think like in this day and age everyone's trying to be someone else or pretending to be someone they're not and I think that it's amazing for you to be able to bring that out in other people oh that's very sweet thank you uh, what about physical qualities we answered this one last time, but I don't know if it's changed. Your ears. <laughs> she says my best quality is my ears. Of all the qualities I can work on, she chooses the one thing I have no control of. Okay. Well, it would, it, I wouldn't like it if you changed it, so I'm glad that you can't change your ears. I'm going to get rid of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting rid of them. Yeah, uh, you should take those ridiculous earrings out and act your <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going with that. Uh, what is your favourite film to watch together? Have we got a movie we watched together a few times? No, I don't think so. No, but we watch a lot of... Court and I watch a lot of movies, but not really something like on repeat. That that's like, oh, that's our thing that we watch all the time. Yeah. Um, I mean, we've watched Harry Potter twice now, the series. I want to point out, Court had never seen and said she would not see Harry Potter when we met. We've now seen it twice. Um, and then we just like to watch lots of like easy to watch TV shows like Friends, Community, um, Will yeah. and Grace, things you don't have to pay too much attention to. Cole and I don't sit down and watch things all that often, like we'll put on a thing while Cole's cooking and while I might be doing some work or something, like we often have a thing in the background that mm. isn't super, like Friends or Will and Grace, like Cole was saying. Um, like we've been watching The Last Dance together, that's like a thing we've been sitting down and watching together, I don't know. Lots of things. <laughs> uh, how do you balance couple time and self time? How to keep it exciting and fresh? That's a really good question because we live together currently in a very small apartment. It's literally just like three rooms. Uh, and this room here you're seeing is predominantly like where we are most of the time. Mm. How do we balance our alone time slash couple time? Um... I get my alone time when you have a shower. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love showering. Shower time's like my alone time. I put on music and just like stand in the hot water, crouch in the hot water. And I mean, I go to work, I get alone time there. I, usually, I go for runs or I train at, at the gym. Yeah, I usually train by myself so I get alone time there. I mean, I don't feel like I need alone time. I think if your relationship's strong and healthy, you don't necessarily feel like you like really need to have some alone time yeah we spend most of our time together whether it's yeah. like currently right now we're both working from home so but i think we also allow that personal like if you want to watch a tv show like you just go in the bedroom and watch something or mm. who said i love you first yeah i did uh how many dates before we kissed one we kissed on the first date <laughs> um Something she does on a daily basis that I adore. Uh, you've been getting up before me and coming in, like, tucking me in, because, like, I'm, she's starting work, but I'm still in bed a lot of the time lately. And she'll, like, call out either if I want coffee, and we'll go sit outside and have coffee together before you start work. That's, like, one of my favorite parts. I like just, like, those little, like, the little things. Mm. That stuff I really like. Uh, who asked who out? You asked me out after... What? Nope. I'm calling this one. After you left the wedding, you messaged me and said, what are you doing later? Well, what does that mean though? Because that could mean two things. It could mean who asked someone, who asked you on the first date, which would be me, yeah. And then the other part of that could mean who asked who out. To me, in, that means uh, who was boyfriend, boyfriend and girlfriend, yeah. Oh, do you want to tell that story? No. Court and I, I'm telling that story because you've brought this up now. When Court and I had been together for a few weeks, maybe a month, uh, I introduced her to someone. It's like, oh, this is my girlfriend. And then after she's like, I'm not your girlfriend. He wasn't what? my girlfriend. I mean, he wasn't my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, what? And I was like, I, we've been like together exclusively for like a month now. And we've seen each other like a couple of times a week since then. She's like, yeah, you didn't ask me out, so you I'm not your girlfriend. You just assume those things. Well, anyway, point is, I had to therefore go, will you be my girlfriend? And she said, yeah. <laughs> 
straight away. Perfect. <laughs> but it was the fact that I hadn't asked. But if it's who asked the first person out, as in who initiated the date, Court initiated that one. So, do you have a Netflix show you watch only when you're together? The Last Dance. Most of our Netflix shows, actually. Yeah. You watch a lot of like, Court really loves true crime stuff, which I don't really love. Mm. So you watch that stuff by yourself. And I like a lot of trashy shows. Yeah, and I hate trashy shows. So it's normally like the comedies or like if it's a TV series, we're both. Yeah. Most of the stuff we watch by ourselves. Mm. I don't watch that much TV by myself. So Court has TV, she watches by herself. I normally just watch whatever Court and I watch them together. Do you have the same taste in music? No. No, we really don't. I like the rock and roll. And court likes the hipping and the hopping. Yeah. And the rapping. Um, I like a lot of other things though. Yeah. I when like we're together, things. we will listen to an in between of both of us. Like I'll put on more mm. softer instrumental like bands. That's mm. right, yeah. And like a few like I solo like artists and stuff, yeah. Um, but the rap and hip-hop stuff the things I've, that we really like in our core yeah. we don't like each other's yeah, yeah, that's type true. of music that's a good thing yeah what, for the both of you what is one habit that bothers you that the significant other does how long you got <laughs> <laughs> i've got one court sneezes like a hurricane We'll be seeing. I can't help that though. Out of nowhere, too, there's no prelude. There's no build up. Like if I'm gonna sneeze, I'm normally going with courts just sitting. Ah! <laughs> That's what I'm like every time. Um, you don't pick anything up or put it away back from where it came from. Mhm. Mm so like anything that you use. <laughs> Just goes back on the Anything. floor. Whatever it is, it's. Let's move on. Uh, go to quarantine dates. We haven't really left the house. Like dates in quarantine, though. Yeah. We have taco night. Yeah, we're just doing things at home. Like, yeah, that's one thing. Each week, like once a week, we're doing like taco night. So like, mm. we're just making, courts making tacos. And then we just have that together, and that's like a thing that we've been doing. And we went on a bushwalk the other night. Yeah. Yeah. Again, they're just like pretty standard things, but it's yeah. just like allocating like a specific time to do that. So, what is the best gift you have given each other? Um, your love. Very smooth. Um, probably, oh, this necklace. I give you it every day. Yeah. And then you bought me this chain in Mexico. It came on a chain, but you bought me this oh, chain. Oh yeah, I do remember. Mexico. I remember buying the chain. Yeah. Is that Leo necklace? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. That's your favorite thing I bought you? Yeah. Huh. Well, there you go. Oh, I wear it every day. Yeah. Well, what would you say it would be? What would you think it would be? I don't know. Do you remember what you bought me? Slippers. I can remember like probably the last thing I bought. Yeah. Before. I have a useless better. memory. I'm I'm very big on gift giving. That's like a way I show affection. Mm. And I'm I like try and be thoughtful and creative with that sort of stuff. So I like giving gifts a lot. So I probably give them more than like here's a big thing I thought of for this occasion. I'm mm. more like a whenever I think of something. Yeah. What's your favourite? Uh, my Fear of Gods. Yeah, that's Yeah. Court surprised me with uh, Fear of God sneakers, which I've been like eyeing off for a while and I was like, I don't know if I buy them myself. And she got me them for my birthday, and it was a massive surprise, and it was awesome, and I loved them. Um, how often do you guys fight argue? I'd say on average... Small fly. Yeah. <laughs> I would say on average we fight like once a month, on average. Yeah. And, even and it's, it's not, not even a fight, it's like... A disagreement. Life, maybe, depends on the mood I'm in. <laughs> Like one to two hours. <laughs> Court just takes a while to get over things. I'm yeah. very like, here's the problem, here's what we do, talk it out, fix it. And Court goes, yeah, cool, we've done that, but now give me an hour to just like chill about it. Yeah, I need to process my thoughts. But generally, we don't even fight. There might be mm -hmm. like d disagreements about things. I think that's fair enough. Like you leaving things all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, what sort of work do you both do? Uh. Court works for the government. Yep. And... This is my work. I work in social media. 
I also own milestone strength, so fitness. Do you guys like to swim together? In the ocean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, in, we, we're, in, <laughs> yes. wherever. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we do. together all the time. This, although this year we didn't really get to. Summer in Australia this year mm. sucked. So, like, we had the insane fires, which made the ocean and everything horrible and, like, full of ash. Then we had floods and rain, which made the ocean dirty gross, and gross. Yeah. And then COVID. So, we haven't really had a particularly great summer this year, but that's okay. We do. Oh, do you have a favourite moment, Mimi? I don't know if it's a favourite moment, but the very first thing I thought of just then was like one of the moments. And I, so I don't know if this is my favourite, but this is the first thing I thought of was like uh, driving through Big Sur and mm. above the clouds. Yeah. And that was just like so magical. Yeah. Um, if you guys check out my Instagram, I did it the other day. I did like a throwback post of like uh, places around the world that we've been in. One of them was this, like a video of starts our feet and then it's like pans up in Big Sur. We're supposed to look out the ocean, but it was just clouds. Yeah. It was amazing. It was amazing. Um, I would say, yeah, I, the thought that came to my mind was when we went to Noosa together. I think that was the first trip we did together. I know, it was really fun. Um, I think it was just nice to get away because at that time I was living in Sydney, so we weren't spending that much time together. So that was the first time that we spent like a bulk amount of period yeah. together. True. Um, I think that was, but any time that we've traveled is also on the list. Yeah. Uh, not a question, but you guys are honestly goals. Stop it. You're so cute. I, there was a question. I don't know if there was in here, but I saw one the other day asking about uh, why we don't post that much of each other. Hmm. You post a fair bit of me on your page. Yeah. Um, my page is my job. Yeah. And I don't like being on your page. Like, I don't you like being on your photo. Yeah. Having said that, she says that, and then anytime I take photos of it, she's like, can you edit that and send it to me? Every single And if you go to my time. page, you'll see the edits that I get. A very <laughs> enlarged head. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, what have we got here? Business. Being in the Instagram spotlight, how hard has it been to navigate for the relationship? It's not, not. hard. I'm like, that's, I try and be as like upfront and honest about everything as I can. So if someone was like, I didn't get people flirting with me. Mm. Yeah, I'm just like straight up with people. I have a girlfriend. If people don't know it, and I try and be honest and talk about it, like you're in my stories a fair bit, mm. but it's not really something we've ever had to deal with. No. So. And I feel like we're not really exposed to where we live, like that whole lifestyle. Yeah, if we were like in New York and I was at like parties and stuff, but I don't like doing that either. Like yeah. my idea of good times coming home and having tucker night, so. Uh, what does Court do while you're recording all your content? Uh, watch my trashy TV shows. <laughs> yeah, she'll do that. Or like some of the ones the workouts have been doing. Court's like sitting there working. Yeah. That's our work desk. So Court sits there working and I'm right where you guys are now filming workouts. So, um, does she do your Instagram trainings? Yeah. Yeah. In Instagram? Well, I do. Like I have the Court app. does the milestone program. Yeah. yeah so I Court has a program with you. Um, I find it hard to follow. Instagram training. Yeah. Because I get, like, and uh, maybe I need to save them because I get distracted scrolling through Instagram if I'm on Instagram. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people do ones where they, like, will write down, literally write down what yeah. the things are. Because that's like I put in captions, what's in there. Yeah. Or they'll screenshot the caption and just have that, which can work. Mm -hmm. um, how long have you guys been together? And do you work out together? But how long have we been together? Two and a bit years? Yeah. Yeah, two and a half years. Mm. Bit over two and a half years. Um, what do you guys think about polygamous relationships? Free love is awesome. Uh, not for us. Uh, polygamous is like multi partners. Oh. Do whatever suits you, but it's not, not for us. What we do. Yeah. Um, what's your funniest memory with me? I don't know. Yeah, these things on the spot are pretty hard to think yeah. of. Yeah. We do laugh a lot. Though. I mean, there's been multiple times where you've like thrown me off the bed and I've just like, yeah. I don't know. Or like some wrestling. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty funny. Um, oh, best tip for new couples. If you could give a new couple a tip, what would it be? Um, I would say take it slow, feel it out and do what you feel is right. Don't do what you feel 
yeah, do what you guys is, want, not what you feel like is the expectation of couples. Yes. Or like, yeah. is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't let other people's opinions. That's exactly what I was about to say. When yeah. we first got together, we both had people from other sides of our relationship warn each other about each other. Mm. And kind of like talk us out of the relationship. Um, obviously people like that Courtney knew who I was through social media and so it would be easy to have a preconceived notion about me. And then I had friends that knew Court. But we kind of just went and did what like we wanted to do. Mm. Um, and that was a really good thing. Our relationship was very much just us to start with. Like yeah. we didn't spend that much time with my friends or your friends. So Okay, so the camera just cut out. We're gonna try again, shall we? So uh, the last question was tips for each other. Uh, who is more lucky to survive a zombie apocalypse? Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm just gonna point out that we answered that one a second ago and Court said she would be the one, but that was just complete lies. Um, I think I'm in my world I would be. Would you guys consider bio babies or adoption? What are bio babies? I think like, like genetically engineered or like no, uh, no, no, maybe not genetically engineered. Maybe bio babies means like um, IVF. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But yes, yeah, either way, yeah. yeah. Um, I think I would probably choose adoption over IVF. Really? Yeah. What? Like I would love to have my own child, but there's like kids out there that don't have homes. That's very sweet. Yeah. You wouldn't want it to have your genetics though. If you could. I just said that. I would rather have. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd love to have my own child with my genetics, but there's kids out there without parents. Cool. I like that. Um, favorite thing to do together? I don't know. Everything. I like what you look at me like I'm supposed to know the answer. I don't know. Thinking. I like to do everything together. Um, I like watching shows with you. I like laying in bed with you. <laughs> of course, like, course, saying she likes doing nothing. Uh, I like I being don't. in the house. Isolation <laughs> is Court's dream yes. holiday, right? Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, can we do a home tour when we move? Yes. When we have furniture yeah. and the place looks good. Yeah, we're uh, getting rid of a lot of our stuff in here. So we'll be starting... I was going to say starting scratch, starting from scratch. So once we've started furnishing it, otherwise it's just going to be a very pretty shell. But mm. um, yeah, we're kind of sad to leave the beach, but very excited to have like a bigger, nicer, newer place to ourselves. Yeah, and that's not like we're an hour away from the beach. Yeah, and it's it eight literally an eight minute walk. I timed it the other day. I parked it at the front and walked to the beach. So it was eight minutes, so it's, it'll be fine. Um, and also the content. I'm so excited for this because we're going to build like, I'll have my own office in there so we can actually like set up a green screen and stuff and shoot content out of there. and. And it's I exciting. I can't wait for that either. <laughs> You're gonna love it. Um, what's, when did you guys know, when did you know that they were the one? Let's finish with this one. When did you know that I was the one? Um, I think when we had our first fight um, and I'm used to getting away with just being a little bit bitchy. Um, so glad you said bitchy because I didn't want to say that before. And and you just like checked me and was like, no, this isn't how it's gonna happen. So and I was like, I, that's what I need. Like I need someone to pull me up when I'm being, I'm out of line. Checking you makes it seem like I was aggressive. The way I deal with problems is to like literally just bring it up and be like, what's going on? Why is yeah, this happening? Yeah, it's checking you. Like what's what's like? like... <laughs> You're just checking to me. So like, snap out of it. Kind of what you do. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it, it is a thing. Court family warned me when we first got together that uh, you can be a little bit feisty at times, and they were right. Um, but if there's no reason for it, I, yeah, we, we talk it out. I think they more warned you about like my issues with noise. Your issues in general. <laughs> uh, I, I that's also actually went on you uh, when Court was being in a mood, and I realised I still wanted to spend my time with her. I was like, oh, I think she's pretty special. Um, the last one. I'm guessing the trust is at 100%. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. I have, like, this is the first time in my life I've ever truly been like, oh, I don't have to worry. We're good. Like, so, that's pretty cool. I love you. That is cool. Hey, that's going to do for us, guys. Uh, if you like this, make sure to go and like it, subscribe. <laughs> 
do all that stuff he's supposed do to do on YouTube. Things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna do more a pretty good at my job. Another one. Yeah, another one. We're gonna do a couple's challenge coming up. So if you guys have suggestions of what you want to see us do, let us know. We'll uh, try and make it entertaining. Yeah. Court's been saying to do this. By the way, this is Court's idea. She's been saying to do this for a while, but it's the first time I've actually like yeah. made this happen. So. How well do you know me? Yeah. I know well now. See you guys next time. Bye now. Bye.